Hi, this is a question of CAT 2024 slot 2. Amal and Vimal together can complete a task in 150 days, then Vimal and Sunil together can do the same task in 100 days. Amal starts working on the task and works for 75 days. Then Vimal takes over and works for 135 days. Finally, Sunil takes over and completes the remaining work in 45 days. If Amal had started the task alone and worked on all the days, Vimal had worked on every second day and Sunil had worked on every third day. Then the number of days required to complete the task would have been how much? It's a very lengthy question. Let's see. Let's say Amal can do A units per day. Vimal can do B units per day. They'll have to work for 150 days. That means the total work should be A plus B into 150. Second group is of Vimal and Sunil. Their one day's work would be V plus S. They'll work for 100 days. So now the total work will become V plus S into 100. But how they're going to start the work? Amal starts working on the task and work for 75 days. So his contribution becomes 75A. Vimal takes over and works for 135 days. So Vimal's contribution will be 135V. And the final is Sunil takes over and completes the remaining task in 45 days. So his contribution becomes 45S. You can see three equations here. I'll equate these two. Next time I'll equate these two. And finally, I'll equate first and last one. After solving this, we'll get a relationship between A, V and S. We'll get A is equal to V and 2A is equal to S. What does it mean? Amal and Vimal are equally efficient, while Sunil is twice as efficient as Amal. So let's assume that Amal can do one unit per day. So Vimal will also do one unit. And Sunil, since he is twice as efficient as Amal, will do two units per day. But finally, they are not working together. Amal will be working every day. Vimal had worked on every second day. And Sunil had worked on third day. Let's see how they are working. First day, Amal will be working alone. That means he will do one unit. Second day, Amal and who is working on the alternate days. It's given that Vimal had worked on every second day. That means on second day, Amal and Vimal will be working together. So they will do how much work? 1 plus 1, that is 2 units. Third day, Amal will be working with Sunil. Because Sunil works on every third day. So their combined work will become 1 plus 2. That is 3 units per day. Fourth day, Amal will be working with whom? Vimal. Because Vimal works on every second day. So again their contribution will become how much? 2 units. Fifth day, Amal will be working alone. So he will do how much work? Only 1. Sixth day, Amal, Vimal and Sunil, all of them will be working. So the total contribution of all three of them together will become four units. This is six days work. How much? One plus two plus three. That makes six. Six plus two, eight. Eight plus one, nine. Nine plus four comes out to be 13 units. So in the first six days, they'll be able to finish 13 units. Now they need to finish the whole work. What's the total work? I know that this is also total work. Values of A and B are 1 and 1. When you put 1 plus 1 into 150, you get 300 units. That means they need to finish 300 units together, working in this manner. In every 6 days, they will be able to finish 13 units. So let's see, this 13 is the uh, value of 1 cycle. How many such cycles should be counted here? When you multiply 13 with 23, 13 with 23, you get 299 units. Still one more unit is left. Whose turn is now? Seventh day, Amal will be working alone and he'll do the remaining one unit. That makes 299 plus 1. So the whole work will be finished now. I counted how many such cycles here? 13 cycles. I counted 23 cycles. Each cycle is of 6 days. That means they must have worked for 23 into 6. 23 into 6 will give you 138 days. And still one more unit was left which was finished by Amal alone. 
that means the answer becomes 138 plus 1, 139 units. This was a very lengthy question. 